Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see NPTEL exam related all the doubts that you have and this video is special for the students who were commenting me to make a video in English so that we all can understand what is happening, what is the scenario, how we can pass the exam in one day, what is the procedure, how we get the assignments, what is the scores, there are many many questions you have in the mind right and we will cover up all these questions by these six topics or we can say by these six questions you will understand everything about the NPTEL and mainly especially how to study in the one day for the NPTEL exam and how to get the previous year's chosen paper so let's just start this video before we start this video we have a goal of 20k subscribers and we are already on the 19.1k subscriber only 900 subscribers we want and I know you guys can do it so please subscribe this channel so that we achieve the goal 20k subscribers Let's come to the video. So the very first question is about the assignment and exam marking. So your assignments are of 25 marks and your exam is of 75 marks. And you want minimum 10 marks out of 25 and 30 marks out of 75. There is a one more thing into the assignments. Just remember if you have the 12 weeks course, so at least 8 assignments should be done or at least just because they, they select the best scores whatever the assignment you have done they select 8 best score of the assignment and calculate the marks from them and then calculate what amount of number you will get okay so you want 8 best score out of 12 and similarly if you have 8 weeks in the case of the 8 week assignment you they will check 6 best assignments out of 8 and then get that score and calculate if they are more than 10 you will get pass okay so 6 out of 8 assignments that is the criteria for the assignments and uh, the main uh, thing is 10 out of 25 in the assignment in the main exam you want 30 uh, you have to go to the exam center give the exam and minimum marks is 30 out of 75 there is one more possibility that you understand so for especially those uh, courses are related to the programming like you have the programming java a joy with the uh, python programming c++ programming dbms so in that in that case what actually happened you must have given the uh, online exam of the programming already right and that uh, that was around 25 marks so 25 marks for the assignment 25 marks for the online programming exam and the remaining 50 marks you will get from the exam center the main exam you have to go there and give that exam okay that is important so this is the thing in which uh, you want 20 out of 50 you want 10 out of 25 you want 10 out of 25 in the case of programming course this is the criteria for assignment online exam and the main exam got it so this is the first question I think it is clear now assignment and exam marking system how we can achieve this second is there any negative marking no dear there is a no negative marking this is the best thing about the NPTEL exam there is a no negative marking okay so just relax and attempt all the questions got it but still I must say there is a uh, possibility like there is a negative marking so please read the instruction before uh, giving the exam read the instruction carefully and I am 100% sure there is a no negative marking because I already have given So what type the questions will be there? This is important MCQ and the coding many questions are uh, many students were asking me about the programming question will be there How we will do that and will I have to do programming question look guys? The assignment that you have given okay that we had the MCQ type of questions already there so that kind of questions like MCQ type of questions short questions okay fill in the blank questions all are will be into A, B, C, D marking questions there is nothing like a coding question and something like but the pattern of MCQ you must understand you will have the programming code at here okay and the one line they will skip and option A, B, C, D they will write at here the code and tell you which one is a correct so at the end you need to understand the programming because the whole question will come into the programming they will skip one line and then give you the option which one is the correct line to make this code happen okay so you need to understand the programming but all over the question will come into a b c d fill in the blank okay that kind of questions you will be only the short type of questions and maybe some questions will have the value like what is the answer like i have the answer of 0.1 
point two. So you have to write like point one, point two. That's all. Not a big long of question. There will be no like that, that kind of question. There will be not. Okay. Next exam pattern. I have already told you what type of patterns will be a MCQ type of mainly uh, pattern will be there. Okay. If you are programming question, exam marks will be fifty. And if you have a known programming course, then in that case, their exam will be seventy five marks. How to study in a day uh, before the NPTEL exam? This is important. So the many students were asking me about how to study very far, how to study a day before the NPTEL exam. Basically, what you have to do, you have to learn all the assignments very first, MCQ type and the programming question if you have. Learn both the questions because that similar kind of question you will see into the exam center. So you have to learn all type of the questions that is coming into your assignment. If you are done, then second step uh, on the portal. Go into the portal. There is a uh, portion of the PDFs. So the PDFs documents are given there. Just go read that PPT and learn the concept of there. This is the second possibility. And third, very very important, you will have to get the previous year's questions and the previous year assignments. I must say because you already know about the that kind of assignment you have done. Now this time the last year of assignments. You need to learn so that that kind of questions also can come into that your exam. Got it? So previous year's assignment is mandatory. Understand? Because this will elaborate your mind. This will give you the concept like how I can click that questions and how can I crack it. So six questions arrive from the fifth question. Like how to get previous year uh, question paper? This is simple man. You will have to search on the Google. And the YouTube and any other source like on go on the Chat GPT and ask the if they can arrange somehow. Just find out on the Google. There are some websites. I will not describe it here, but you can find over the Google. There are the websites that are giving the previous year questions and all this, and you can learn from there. Second important thing, okay? Second approach. What you can do it instead of this, find a person who already enrolled the same course last year, okay? So find that person. Maybe your senior already have enrolled in that course and gave that exam. So go uh, get the access of that portal and get all the assignments from that guy and learn it. Simple. So you just have to find your senior, those who have already enrolled uh, the same course last year. Okay. So this is how you can get the previous year questions and the assignments. Got it? So I think it's clear. I think all are clear now. And if still have any doubt you have, what do you have to do? Uh, drop a comment in a comment box and I will going to reply each and every person remember and we have a small target a small goal just of the 20k subscriber on YouTube channel so please subscribe this channel so that we reach as soon as possible then we will have a small party and we will do something okay so we'll the next week thank you so much thank you so much